pray god to give lot of strength to the family and and something has to be done uh, to the community to prevent this to happen in future First at six, troopers need your help to solve a hit and run in Cabarrus County that left a two-year-old boy dead. I'm Brian Blakely. Good evening to you. I'm Alicia Barnes with the hit and run happened Friday. Authorities, though, tonight just releasing the information because they need your help finding who was responsible for killing that two-year-old little boy. Crash was on NC-73 near Fitzgerald. Queen City News anchor Casey Jones is there. So, Casey, how did this happen? Friday night, neighbors saw emergency vehicles lining this road after a child wandered away from a home and into the street where they got hit and killed. And people who live in this area say that drivers are speeding down 73 all the time and they're hoping this tragedy changes something. Tragedy strikes a family moving into a tight knit Cabarrus County neighborhood. It's not an easy thing for someone to come to a new country. Uh, buy your own house. It's it's a million dollar dream for us. That dream became a nightmare Friday around 11. Troopers say a two year old wandered away from home and into Highway 73 near Fitzgerald Street Northwest. This is not something that that leads us to believe that there was neglect, anything of that nature. Um, the parents were moving into a new home. A lot of things were going on that evening. On the dark, busy road, troopers say a driver spotted the child, pulled over, and tried to grab the boy to get him to safety. Unfortunately, the child ran out into traffic prior to doing that, and that's when he was struck. Um, the only witness we have at this time is that subject that attempted to get the child off the roadway. Troopers say the driver that killed the child was in a black or dark colored car that hasn't been seen since. The stretch of 73 does not have cameras. It's been three, four days now and since uh, still they're not able to find the uh, person is, is not acceptable, you know. Troopers hope the public can help find the person responsible. In the meantime, neighbors say the area needs safety upgrades to prevent another tragedy where dozens of small children live. There is no stop sign over there in the Ford Road Junction. and uh, There is no speed limit board in this road. Uh, which all this were actually disturbing us right from the day we moved into the community. Troopers are asking for your help finding the person that killed this child. It's a very vague description right now. Troopers know that it is a black or dark colored four door sedan, and they do expect that this car has some sort of front end damage. If you know anything, call authorities immediately. Reporting from Concord, Casey Jones, Queen City News.